Oh, hello there, Jorge Andres here with you. Kristen Miranda, you've got a little friend over there. Folks, we want you guys also to participate in this. Uh, log on to WBTV.com. Send us your messages, your comments. We want to be an interactive show, but enough from me. More from the <laughs> puppy, Chris. I know. It's like um, Melissa and Julia know. If they bring puppies, they've, they've got me hooked. <laughs> they've got me hooked for sure. A lot of oftentimes when you adopt a dog from a shelter, they go ahead and microchip that dog ahead of you taking them home. And not just dogs, too right well no matter when or where your pet gets chipped it is important to make sure the information about that chip is up to date so our friends melissa nicely and julia connor with cmpd animal care and control are here this morning to talk about this very important thing okay first of all we have to talk about this baby uh julia tell me about this girl this is skittle skittle, skittle. one, one skittle, skittle. <laughs> uh she's about 10 months old and she came in as a lost pet no one reclaimed her so she's available for adoption and we don't know anything about her but we what we do know is she's sweet as can be yeah. she hasn't made a peep since she's been here she's a little timid a little bit on the skittish side yeah, yeah. she's gonna need time to kind of relax and get to know you and get Aww. to know her surroundings when you bring her home. So she's not a dog you can just throw in the backyard. She needs to be watched and a training will go a long way. Oh, I absolutely adore her. She's so sweet. So she's available for adoption now. If you're looking for a new baby, Melissa, you have a wand in your hand. I do. My This is a magic wand for people <laughs> in animal welfare. It, it really it, is. Yeah, tell really tell is. everybody why. So that this is. is a microchip scanner. This is what all veterinarians, anybody in animal welfare, all of our checkpoints, across the city that we partner with that you can find on our website will have these um, and if you find a dog the first thing that you want to do is if it does not have a collar ID tag that's step number one always make sure it has an ID tag with your phone number because you say that's the number one it, way that you're going to be able to reunite is. pets and their families you don't even have to have one of these right um, but if you, if there's not always make sure that there's a there's a microchip microchip so I thought we'd play a game with yeah, you today Kristen sure. and let you turn into an animal control yes. officer or animal welfare yes. expert so you're gonna press this blue button to turn it on okay so let's show everybody so it's this blue button right here yep. and press that Oh. And then you're going to press it one more time, and it should say reading. It says reading right now. Okay. And now you're going to, we all know that microchips are about the size of a grain of rice. Yep. And they go in somewhere back here in this scruff. Okay. And so you just want to do a wide sweep in this area, and you'll hear a beep when it finds one. <laughs> I know, Skittle, I yeah, know. Look at this oh, way. it turned off. I waited too long. Uh-oh, battery left. Oh, try it again. There yeah. we go. There it is. Oh, that was fast. And so it gives you a series of numbers. Yep. Then we put that into the database and it's gonna pop up what is hopefully your most current information, your current address and your current phone number. That's really key though. And I have been guilty of this myself where you get the pet microchipped, you put in your address and then you move and you never go back and update it. And that's what today is for. Yeah. Is reminding everyone that has a pet, whether it's a cat, a dog, a ferret, even horses, <laughs> you know, just livestock even. Yeah. Make sure that the um, information is up to date. Do it today. Um, and then remember to do it if you change any of that stuff. Um, and you can go onto our website, which you guys will link to. Yes. Um, and you can update it in our local Charlotte database for free. And then there's a really good, um, I guess it's, a, it's an all access um, website that you can use. And no matter what manufacturer of chip you have, you can go and you can see who it is. And so you want to update it with a national company. There are many brands out there now, yep. too many to name. Yep. But you always want to make sure you call the national company and update it as well. Hi, sweetie. Yeah, that's my foot. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'll be your best friend forever. Um, so here's another question that I have, and this is a little sneaky question. Most of these companies will ask you to pay an annual fee. Right. Right. And if you don't pay the annual fee, do they get rid of your information? No. Uh. No, that's a <laughs> sneaky. Um, so usually what that is is for extras. Like yeah. if you report your dog lost, they will contact the shelters in your area and things like that. When you don't pay that fee, the chip doesn't stop working. The chip will work forever. Um, and also you are in the system still. They're Got not going to delete you out of that system. Check out what they have to offer. See if that's some extra coverage that you'd like to have for your pet. Yep. But don't feel compelled that you have to do it because the chip is going to stop working or uh, they're going to not take you out of their system. That is so helpful to know because a lot of folks, 
you know, it's just one more thing, right? But you want to make sure you can be reunited with your pet. We have seen just this week, just this morning, Marion and Alex were talking about a pet reunification story. Yes. Um, so I absolutely love that. Before we run out of time, I want you to update people on how things are at the shelter. We've talked to you so many times recently about how dire the situation is, that you're having to make difficult decisions. That means euthanasia, euthanasia you guys, and we hate to hear that. How are things right now? So I brought some numbers yep. um, because we're going to put an alert out again today, and we have on social media. Um, from Friday to Monday morning, we had 98 dogs enter the shelter and 63 cats. That put us over capacity. We have zero kennels. Um, yesterday alone, 33 more dogs and 27 more cats came in. So when we have a certain amount of kennels and they're all full, unfortunately when the new dogs are coming in, there has to be a euthanasia decision about literally kennel space. Ugh. And we do not want to do it. We had many people come to the shelter yesterday to foster but as many went out more came in <sighs> and so it's just it feels like a, a never ending losing battle right now and anything anyone can do to help by fostering or adopting uh, would be life-saving i really want you to think about that i've fostered or what did i do i staycationed. staycationed that's what i did i almost fostered i staycationed um and it was awesome it was such a great experience they make it easy they give you everything you need to staycation a pet and that just helps just a little bit i'm super out of time producer heidi's gonna yell at me what's the long-term goal because we have all these like short-term like help us foster da -da -da -da. is there a long-term goal for you guys Adoption. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I mean, facility-wise, is there? Can you expand? Is there anything you we, can we do? We can, but you need more people. Yeah. Um, if you're going to expand kennel space, you need more staffing and more budget. Yeah. Um, but also, you could get to the same point you are. The point is, we need more adoptions yeah. going out because you you have to keep them moving through the system. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, let's help them in any way we can. All the information on the screen. And if you want to adopt this sweet, sweet baby, <laughs> all of the information there will help you do that as well. I, these animals go fast when they're tiny like this. Um, so if you want her, get there fast. But Jorge, it's really the other dogs, cats, everybody um, that needs a little bit of love today. Come on, people.